whether you are a notary doing general notary work or you're a notary signing agent, I'm going to teach you the number one secret to building a successful business. And the key that I just said there is building a business. See, most notaries fail, not because they're not good notaries. Most notary signing agents fail because they don't know how to run a business. So of course today I'm going to teach you a lot about what you need to know on the business side of this. But what I really want to talk about is two really big keys that every business owner should understand. And as marketing and sales, there's going to be very little notary training in here because honestly, you have to assume that every notary, every signing agent has the same skill set as you. You have to make that assumption. When you open up a restaurant, you've got to assume that everyone has food just as good as yours. So what separates the, the businesses who make a lot of money and the businesses who don't? It's understanding marketing, it's understanding sales, and it's understanding accounting. So the funny part about this is the number one way to make more money as a notary signing agent has a little to do with being a notary signing agent and so much more about being able to run a business. The biggest key in running a successful notary or notary signing agent business is to realize that you actually run a business. See, we are called solopreneurs. That means we're in business for ourselves. We don't have employees. It's all about what we do. And the biggest reason solopreneurs fail is because they worry more about becoming super proficient in what they do versus becoming proficient in what they do and then focusing on the business side of this business. When we understand that we are in business and we run a business, every single thing changes. The hardest thing that I do to teach my students is to stop thinking like employees. There is a completely different mindset between running a business and being an employee. But the problem is so many of us become independent contractors or make that segue into being a solopreneur really come from an employee background, working for someone for 5, 10, 15, 20 years of our career. And then we jump into becoming a solopreneur, an independent contractor, and we don't take of any of the new mindsets that need to be learned and really applied to our business. That's the biggest flaw that I see new signing agents come. They study for a hundred hours on becoming a signing agent and they spend two hours on the business side of this business. So the most important thing that I'm going to teach you today is really how to get into the mindset of being a business owner. That's what today's training on. That's the number one secret. See, the reason I really want to harp on this is because when you own a business, everything changes. You become proactive and not reactive. You understand that everything's, I'm going to go above and beyond. See, I get too often from students, my own students say, oh, Mark, I got to travel 45 minutes to get to an appointment. And they focus more on the appointment than the relationship they're building. See, that's what an employee does. An employee gets frustrated that they got to stay 15 minutes after five o'clock. When a business owner goes, I'll do whatever it takes to satisfy my clients. That is the mindset of a business owner. The number th two thing that business owners do in America is they focus on business training. See, my students learn how to run a business, but I also tell my students, you should be listening to business podcasts. You should be having mentors and invest in other people who teach you the business side of running a business. When we really get that we run a business is when your entire business will completely change marketing and sales. The biggest thing I want to teach you is there's a difference between marketing and sales. Too many signing agents or any new solopreneurs really think that marketing and sales is the exact same thing. Let's break down marketing before we get into sales. Marketing is about positioning your company. It's about positioning your notary signing agent business. It's about branding what you do. Okay. So let me talk about the first thing. And the first thing about marketing is marketing should be about what you offer that is different than your competition. See, too often new signing agents are really guilty of this, and even some of my veteran students are, is they will always lead with what makes them the same. Oh, I work nights and weekends. Oh, I have $100,000 worth of E&O insurance. See, almost all notaries, whether you're doing general notary work or being a notary signing agent, all work nights and weekends. So why is that something that you would market to? Does that make sense? Your job is to differentiate your business, not make your business the same. Here's an example. Let's say you are a small business owner and you open up an Italian restaurant. An Italian restaurant owner doesn't say, we have spaghetti, everybody. We have lasagna, right? 
But most signing agents will be like, oh, I work nights and weekends. Oh, I don't miss signatures. Oh, I drop off docs. And then your client's like, doesn't every signing agent do that? Or maybe you're doing general notary work. You're like, I'll, I'll come to you. I'm mobile. But if most people doing general notary work are mobile, that's not something you lead with. Does that make sense, everybody? Your job is to differentiate your business from the next. So in any of your marketing materials, when you're doing social media posts, don't mention the things that your competition also has. Is this resonating with everybody? Because when your client sees your leave behind, when your client sees your social media posts, you say, oh, I do this and I do that. If that is the what all your competition offers, you should not be mentioning that in your marketing. You need to be branding yourself different. Let's talk about sales, right? You know, here's the first thing I want to say about sales. You know, sales is a five letter word, but to a lot of my students, it's a four letter word. It's like, oh my gosh, Mark, I'm not in sales. I've never been in sales. So let's talk about this dreaded word sales. I got a crazy moment for you. You ready? You've always been in sales. You've been in sales since you've been two years old trying to get the, the other kid on the playground to play with you. This idea that I'm not good at sales is so farther from the truth. The idea that like I'm not good at sales couldn't be far. Like, do you have a friend? You're in sales. Have you convinced someone to marry you? You're in sales. It took me three times to ask my wife out before she finally said yes on a date. We're in sales. I don't care if you're the most introverted person in the world. You've always been in sales. Sales is nothing more than building a relationship. Sometimes it happens quicker than later. You know, with our spouses, it might take a year for them to ask us to marry them or for you to marry, ask them to marry you. So this idea that you're not good at sales is something that I want you to break in your own mind. When you're trying to sell your business, which by the way means you're trying to get an escrow officer to use you, you walk into that title office, you walk into that open house, or you're doing general notary work and somebody calls up your Google ads, you remember sales is nothing more than relationship building. And you've been building relationships your entire life. And so I, some of my students will call me, Mark, I'm so nervous about walking in and talking to a title officer. And I go, think about the title officer as someone you're trying to become friends with. Sales, in my opinion, has a bad rap because there's been people before us that are manipulative and say things that, that aren't true. But you have built so many authentic relationships in your life that you've been in sales your entire life. All you need to do in sales is let somebody know through a relationship building process why you are better than the next signing agent. That's it. Like we overthink the word sales. All sales is is building a relationship.